we're just about to set off. Thank you, Premier Inn. Let's go and find the charger. 8% of battery left, and I think that's just over 20 miles. But never fear, there's some rapid chargers near. It's routed us towards a DC charger. Very cool. There they are, left hand side. Wonderful. So the rapid charger and Chakadema suppliers, both 50 kilowatt. I don't think we've ever used one of these before, have we? Annabelle? No, we have not. But there's Visa, Google and Apple Pay. So I think we will be fine. Okay, so CCS press CCS, to... obviously. Do CCS. not hit Chakademus. No, and I'm not going to hit no. AC either. No, we don't CCS. need a Type 2, no. Connect. So it looks like most systems have got easy or easier. So we now press start. And there we go, we're off. And the lightest turned green here as well then. 39 kilowatts. I was going to say six seemed a bit low. 39 I can cope with. So the maximum is 50. And if I'm not mistaken, the Q4 will take, I think it's 150 kilowatt, yeah. isn't it? So I reckon maybe 30 minutes and that will give us enough to get to Goodwood. The charging tariff includes parking, so we don't need to pay any extra whilst we're here. Just getting a small snack. Brought our cool bag. It's certainly what you call prepared and organised when we go on a road trip. And thank you, Alan. Thanks again. Yeah, I was going to say we've got a shortbread as well from Aberdeen. Worst Aberdeen accent ever. I didn't even know you were trying an accent. It was that bad. Uh, thank you. <laughs> on that note, we'll leave you to it. Ooh, look at that convolvulus. It's rife this year. Is that the ultimate wild track to go out of Goodwood in? I think so. It's a German import. You use the touchscreen and the option comes up to stop it. So I'm going to do that now. And I need to... Oh, I'm going to... oh yeah, it's the phone, isn't it? Yeah, it's it all, it's Easy to remove, just pop. We're done. I've noticed that's cracked. Oh. Maybe that needs reporting. I do like those sequential indicators. I do like the design language in here. It's very futuristic Audi all the angles smooth different materials literally on the doorstep oh triumph herald 147 miles of range and 48 percent of battery so yeah we did need a top up but i'm still completely overwhelmed by the fact that we managed to get here in one charge when we look at the sat nav we've got 39 miles to go and it's very clear and it's it's not laggy at all, is it? No, it's very fast. Yeah, we're definitely in some kind of testing area, aren't we, Annabelle? Indeed. I've just seen a sign that says tanks turning. And troops crossing. It's a good with a fair few ways, but never this one. Well, I've got my virtual cockpit, but we've just enabled ways, and it seems to have disabled my navigation, so it looks like you can have one or the other. Got enough power to pull out onto dual carriageways, and that was in efficiency mode. Put it in dynamic, Ooh. and that seriously transforms it. Yeah, it'll be very peppinino. Old school roundabouts seem to have gone, they seem to put you in a lane, and that's that. It's because I think most people can't read the roads now, so. I was going to say, nobody puts e tron in a lane. <laughs> what reference is that? Answers on a postcard. It's a lovely bit of wood on the back of that wagon, isn't it? Look at that. It's like somebody's banister. Or a bit of flotsam and jetsam. You know, getting into this with fresh eyes this morning after having done our first quick look round. By the way, if you want to see that, click here. It is very straightforward. Changing the cluster display, having your navigation there. It's all easy to do. As for the powertrain, like I mentioned, it's intuitive. It's not a challenge driving this in the slightest. Oh, for Pete's sake, another blaming light. Whee! Let's see what you can do. Zoom. After 600. Book a left now. Bird world. Yay. Bird world. Do you think we'll see? Alice Holt. No, bird person there? Possibly. Type R EP3 with some crazy rear spoiler. Yes, it is. 132 miles of range, so even when you blip it, it doesn't do that much. It's just if you keep your foot flat to the floor. Green. That's very green. Mint green. I was going to say very fog. Fog. We found it. We have. Bird world. Two can go. <laughs> oh, God. 
You are the master of terrible puns, aren't you, Benjamin? I am indeed. Be there. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. It has. It's a heck, heck of a name. What we're going to do when we find some country roads is explore the handling and the acceleration. So I'll start using dynamic mode and see what it can do. Oh look, we found Goodwood. Oh, well, it's a country market and it might have some cars. Whoa, like a garage in the middle of nowhere. With a dealership. You just missed a lovely little race then between a Renault Clear 172 and a C63 and the 172 was going for it, bless its heart. But all you could hear was that C63 behind it going, Ugh. 172 is not bad on the back road, so it'd be interesting to see what they were like on the lanes. I hope there's an S1 Quattro as well. I'd love to see the group beam in the flesh. I think years ago we were going down to some event and there were three S1 Quattros, all the group Bs, so the shortened wheelbase, on the back of a transporter at Burton Services. That's like the rarest thing ever. So you can either have your full navigation, or you could have one like this, and it shows partial navigation in the right, but you can still see your other information, like your date and time. And if I go through the cluster, there's lots more information. We popped this bend and around we go. And who did he know? We've got an SQ3 behind. proper country road to give it a test. We may well be in a beastie Audi, but look at this and the colour. R6? Yes. Supercar performance. Diamond's good in the cabin, but I have noticed because it's quite a windy and wet day, weirdly it's not raining at this exact moment, that you can hear a little bit of wind noise. But on the way down yesterday, the day before, there was nothing, was there? No. And that was a lovely sunny day. This is beautiful. It is lovely. Ah, uh, I recognise this. We've been past here before, haven't we? We've but been from on a this road multiple Yeah, I've got to say, from a different angle. We're pretty much nearly there now, aren't we? What is it, 12 miles, something like Yeah, that? that's what I mean. We're going to start seeing the outskirts of the signs for Goodwood, aren't we? There's a bit of coppice in there, by the looks of it. Look at this for a road. Oh, pulling up hills, absolutely no problem. This is in efficiency mode as well. Yeah, bit that. Well, we've certainly never been on this road, have we? Never. We can remember it, wouldn't we? Put it in dynamic. <laughs> Whoa, the difference. Mm. Pull like a train. <laughs> Heavier region too. Ah, I want to use my power up here. Bit Electric power! Uh, who can? Uh -uh. Sorry. It's remarkable. That's the other thing, isn't it? When you put your foot down the hill like this, it doesn't zap it as fast as you'd think it would. A test of theory, aren't we, Ben? I was going to say, time for some sorcery. Hello, Audi. Okay, very good. Hello, ID. <laughs> <laughs> so, we know what platform this is on. The MEB. You're loving the versatility of the driving modes, aren't you? I am in the range as well and even though I keep blipping it we use a mile here and then we regen on it so we gain that mile back MG don't be there oh an IX that's a point we've got a review of that coming out rather soon haven't we it's working now Row. got it P4 roll what a sound when you're on a country road Lovely and refined. We were doing 60 before, no wind noise. No going into a bit. It's definitely not as good a surface. You do get a bit of tyre rumble. But it's not excessive. Bear in mind our microphones are pretty good so they pick up everything. As for pulling up hills, remarkable. You start to go back into efficiency mode now. 
96 miles of range. We could do this for another 30 miles. No, we could not. We actually could, and that's the interesting thing. They're the red arrows. Starting to get the buzzing feeling and the rush. No access, yeah. Well, as Annabelle mentioned before, the roadwork system around Goodwood is one of the best we've seen, isn't it? Yeah. It's out to such a degree that there's a flow of traffic that keeps all of the local traffic going without causing any major bottlenecks. It's superbly done. It is. No, the event management roles way that they tackle everything at Goodwood is it's Super, amazing. Yeah. We're looking yeah, for park. Not at all. We're looking for park car park P aren't we? Car park B. That's media parking. Look at it corner. And in the background the red arrows. There's a Ferrari. It's rather nice. Yeah. Smallest number plate in the world. They've come back to watch the red arrows from a fan. And the festivities. It looks like it's going to buck it now. I don't reckon it's going to affect the handling on this. Nice tight steering, weighty. And because it's got batteries, it feels stuck to the road at all times. So even in rain, and no doubt it's got some pretty good tyres. I think these are bridge stones, so it'll stick to the road like glue regardless. It's ticking a lot of boxes, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, in my words. Time to use those auto wipers. Now, the likelihood is you probably saw a live the other day. It was very fleeting because all of a sudden the Audi started to try and pull me left. And it was with good reason. The motorway was finishing, but there was absolutely no warning. It was literally straight on, ah, get off. But the Audi had already clocked because of its environmental awareness and sorcery. So it did the right thing. It actually got it before me. I think it's a taste of revival. Nice. So we filled it. DBXs. Look at them. Gold one. And then there's four more there. So this is our entry point into Goodwood Festival of Speed. So media parking. Mm. P. Cheers. <laughs> leaving Goodwood. That was a Manx DS or something, anyway. So that's it for Goodwood, isn't it? It is. I mean, what a our wonderful final thing, thing was the orangery, wasn't it? It was, what a yes. Way to finish. So now, how many miles? Can it come in? Two, three, 311 miles. There we go. So we will need to charge up at least once. Definitely. Yeah, we've got 78 miles. In traffic, you might be thinking, how easy is it to drive an electric car? Well, most of the time it'll pull itself along, but if you just slightly touch the accelerator, don't worry, it's not just going to drop it and go, it'll just pull away nicely, like this. How beautiful is that? I was going to say thatched cottages. Surprise you, does it, Rob Goodwood? Everything you see is just idyllic. Well, we never thought we'd see this, did we, We then? did, no. BBS, well. RAs, and a Mark II Golf. Oh, RS6 by the sound of it. Yes. Hosha. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the Goodwood crew are on the way. Well, we've just been on a wild goose chase with a charger that was at a community centre. And it had been charged 10 minutes ago, but that was obviously before they shut the gates. Which is just not good, is it? Why Zabhap doesn't tell you that is beyond me. Thing is, it was in the middle of nowhere. But... Never fear, 35 miles of range and... 10 uh, miles to go. Yeah, as I said, charging for 10 miles. And we think it's a 50 kilowatt. Nice. And it's telling us that we've got 9.5 miles to go to the charging station and we're on our way. And the beauty with that is, you know damn well it's going to be compatible. It takes a lot of the guesswork out of it and makes it yeah. really stress-free, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. And it's rerouting us due to traffic too. Yeah, it's on the limited access road. This is, it's a pleasure on the motorway. It is. Decent power, 
is an acceleration, getting up to 70 on something like this is absolutely no problem, and that's even in efficiency mode. But when it's coasting, in it's B mode, when it's tight steering, and the fact that there's very little body roll unless you really go launching into a corner, it just makes it a great motorway car as well as an aero car. Sorry, SUV. It's a lovely car to follow down here, isn't it? Go to plan. Thank you. Thank you. Sadly, Porsche Center at Guildford stops charging at 6:30, so we had two minutes. Lovely gent, but bear that in mind with that app, map, what, whatever it's called, because the likelihood is it may have a charger, but whether the thing's going to be active and accessible. <sighs> well. That's the next yeah, question, isn't it? Exactly. But at least we know that there's a charger here. Right, we're in Little Guildford. Time to rapid charge. Then we can head off back for about 300 miles. Yeah, charging 11%. And we're now charging. Day two in the Q4 e-tron. Actually, we've only been here an hour. Charging at 47 kilowatts. Not bad. But we do need 300 miles, so... May as well wait the next 30 minutes or so and then recharge it about Nutsford. Welcome to Guildford and Little and our pod point named, what was it, Miami or some such thing? Solar bird lights in Little. How about a plant pot? Mitosaur? Hammer? The things we get up to are our vehicles charging. Just 15 minutes left to go. But we're weighing up if we should just cut off the charge now and then head to Nutsford because 254 miles, it's likely possible, isn't it, with this? 92%. Took 1 hour 18, 59,448 kilowatt hour at 33 kilowatts now. So it certainly slows down when it gets over 80. Stop, okay. See how much it was. Maya Zane. Time to head to the lakes. A Dorothy. It's always a good day when we see a Dorothy. Yeah, granted the W124 saloon. But nevertheless. F-150 Annabelle Shelby wow. Import V8. Yeah. Sounds like one. Certainly got what you call the Belurble. Oh, oh yes! Oh. <laughs> the Golf is off. But so is the F-150. Wonderbar, range check. We have 220 miles of range and 191 miles to go to get to Nutsford for a top up charge. No, we'll easily get there on that. Now, it's this, not going to be eco run home, is it? We're on the M25, aren't we, Benjamin? Yeah, I can't tell by the road noise. Yeesh. But the good thing is, because it's later in the evening now, it is moving. I know. But well, it's Friday, isn't it? You never think of that. You think of Goodwood over the weekend, but in actuality, it starts on a Thursday. We go Thursday, Friday. So we're not going to do the efficiency run on the way back. Heck no. But we've got 221 miles of range yep. with 188 miles to go to get to Nutsford so we can do a top up charge because we are estimating that we're not going to make it all the way home on the charge that we have doing, no, the, doing the higher motorway ends. I'm not going to be coasting as much. I'll probably keep it at 70, 72, 73, whatever yeah. it classes as the threshold but the majority at 70. But as we know, there's a lot of 60 limits, maybe even 50s for roadworks. So I don't quite know how far we'll get. We've got a 30 mile buffer, haven't we? We have. Now we're traveling at about 65. So we're barely using range, so that's good. Well, uh, uh, I'll check, I know. Well, check it with you later. We will. You think of navigation, you think of simplicity. Look at that. That's the M25 simplicity with navigation in the cluster. Wow. Oh, yes. London traffic. Great. See you at Nutsford. See you at Nutsford. Just as a point of reference, when it comes to tech, we're going to have the sound system banging with the sub from the Sonos. We've got lights on. 
So we've got air conditioning on very low. I think it's about one bar. It's one bar on eco. Yeah, and it's on cold because it's pretty warm, mm -hmm. even at nine o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's about it, isn't it? Yep. So there you go. There's your base level for what we're going to use going to Knutsford. But we're still in efficiency driving mode. Yeah, we're not uh, going to change out of that. No. We well, don't need to. It's got enough power. Yeah. And we've yeah. got 217 miles of range yeah. and 173 miles to go to Knutsford to top up. Yeah. Yeah, the likelihood is we'll stay in this driving mode the whole time. Generally, this is perfectly fine to drive up and down the country. Isn't yeah. it? It does cover kind of all bases, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It's rapid enough to get out, get you out of a tight spot if you need to. Oh, yeah. The fractals, yeah? Yep. We've got to add wipers to our base level now because it's started raining. But just to say, hypothetically, you were traveling at say 75, 77 miles an hour, mm -hmm. then you would use considerably more range than you would at say 71. Just something to take, take into off. account. Yeah. yeah, especially in motorways in this country. Now, lane closure slow down, lovely. But we've still got, it's about a 30 mile buffer, haven't we? We have. And 117 miles to go and 148 miles. It's doing exceptionally well considering we've been at 70 and a touch more at points. We need to keep up with the flow of traffic. Pro drive! Pro drive! Who needs lights on the trailer, eh? So it's about 70 to the charger and we've got 105 miles of range. So and I've been travelling at 70. Plus. Well, yeah, because the flow of traffic, everyone was darting all about yeah. because they're trying to figure out where they were going. The moral of the story is, when Master Chief tells you there's a diversion, you take the diversion. I've only got a 300 mile range, but if you stick to the limits and drive and coast as much as possible, then that 300 miles will go way further than you expect. Like, way further. Wow. Looks like we've picked the right way to go anyway doesn't it? That's it does hard. yeah. This is, the old, this is the toll system isn't it that we're yeah. technically joining. Yeah. So that's the M6 and this, and is, this oh. is technically the new the end of the t end. Oh so yeah. it's the end of it. Uh, yeah. I always wondered what that bit was. Mm -hmm. Tunes got a 50 mile an hour limit. Well that's coming fast. Wow. Monsoonsner. Otherwise known as gone. Monsoonsner. As I was going to say technically a monsoon. All of a sudden, visibility is down to about 10 inches from nothing. It was that fast, it smoked our automatic windscreen wipers. Range check. So we've just got over 20 miles to go to get to Nutsford, about 21, 22. And, and we've, we've got, got 59 miles of range, so we've still kept. Wow, that's a bit crazy there. Uh, we've kept a. 40 mile buzzer, huh? buzzer, between 30, buffer. Yeah, between 30 and 40 miles. As we've established, it's now bucketing down with rain and it's pretty windy too. And with the lane keep assist, it's just, it's not really affecting it at all. It's not blowing around, it feels well planted. It's composed at all times. And the lights, even on low beam, just cut through everything. It's just not a problem in this kind of, I mean, Fanabel turns the camera down. The spray, the rain, you name it. Damn good brakes on this as well. Yeah. And it looks to me like we've got discs on the front, and like some kind of drum type thing on the rear, probably for regen because it is a rear wheel drive. So yes. 11 it's been a very long day. It's been a good five. day, but it's been a long day, yeah. yeah, of course it has, yeah. So we'll check back in at Nutsford and uh, then we'll give you an update when we get back to Silverdale. It's astonishing yeah. the way that the e-tron system works. You keep think you just don't get range anxiety at all in this because no. you know damn well as soon as you back off and let it coast. It it's will gonna, recoup. Yeah, like it's, four or five miles in couple of miles yeah. say you're doing 70 down a hill the other thing is I'm in drive I'm not in brake but it's to be honest though sorry to interrupt you though that's fine people if they were test driving it they wouldn't see this unless they took it on a long haul yeah well exactly well that's why we do this that's why we do what we do I mean by the end of it we will have done 
Oh, seven hundred miles. No, like, probably more. Yeah, possibly eight hundred miles. And it's done it on essentially two charges. We just got a final charge just to top, top up, up for us. Yeah. But I honestly think I get back on this range. But we will. Res well, we will. We will stop and refresh ourselves. See, we can't yeah, we talk because we're tired. Yeah. Well, the car's already reminded me of that for a start. Yeah. The other thing is, the lower down the range, even at 30, it didn't seem to throttle anything back. And it doesn't nag you. It just gives you the information you need. Hazard reported ahead. Hazard, eh? Yeah, uh, Hazard. Nuts for this, we should say. What king can that? Yeah. Whoop, oh, wobble, wobble. Oh, Worst boy, car boy, parking boy, in the world boy. ever. Not go that way. Ooh. Somebody shot in. It's been chatting to the guy with the e-golf. So it's got 140 mile range, it just doesn't fine. He also said, like Annabelle mentioned, these are running at 120. So that's gonna be a fast charge. No. Emergency shutdown, not working, and now it is. Yeah. If not, there is another charger next to us, so that's all good. Wow, we've moved to the other charger and... Dun dun dun! Not doing very well. No, you're not. There we go. Because I couldn't see. That's looking helpful. It's white this time as opposed to red. And there we go. Yay! So that... Oh, look at that. 65. An hour and five minutes so far. Wonderful. Well, the guy said it was running at 120, so it'd be interesting to see if it gets any higher. Brilliant. We don't need Brilliant. many miles either, do we? What do we need? Um, Another 50, 60? Something like that. About 70 maybe at the we'll, most. We'll put 100 on just in case. Let's go refresh ourselves. Yeah. What a crazy last few days. Best bit of speed. Driving the e-tron. Ow! Be back really soon. Caterpillar. Mercedes-Benz. Pie version. I love it. Yeah. There's the floof. Whoa, the giant floofs. Well, we've just charged up. We've now got 47%, 136 miles, and we've got to go about 70. So realistically, we could well have 100 miles when we get home. So we'll be setting off momentarily. And then I'll give you a bit of an update of everything, either tonight, if we can pull it off, if not tomorrow. And that charge cost us £12.85. So that's about, what, 24 quid to get home? Yeah. That's not bad. It would be cheaper with Type 2s and so on and so forth, but it just makes it easier. And I think the little charger was definitely more cost effective, but that makes perfect sense. We're at motorway service station. You pay a premium for fuel. Why aren't you GNU for electric? GNU. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Annabelle's doing a little bit of house cleaning there. Or housekeeping even. Housekeeping. Right, let's roll. That wall. Here's something to bear in mind. When you're in efficiency mode on a motorway, it does throttle you down. I don't quite know how much, but I did read it's around 80 miles an hour. But if you do want to exceed that, say on an autobahn, Go into something like dynamic. The Motro. Well, that must mean we're at Fort and Annabelle. Sorry, Lancaster. Yep, it does. Not far now. No. Yeah. Thank you, Master Chief, for your Overwatch. Engage dynamic, please. At the roundabout. Take the first exit. Let's move. Move. Oh, that is dynamic. In yes. one mile. Well, things are afoot. We've it's returned home, and it's certainly art crawl, yes. We have also noticed when you corner, the little lights come on and help you corner. So final range check. We are home and we still have 41 miles of range. Huzzah. Indeed. That's the main thing about an electric car, isn't it? You do have to take into account that you need to charge them. But Audi, thank you. This has been awesome. It has been excellent, and uh, it's done exceptionally well. Come on, come on, shift, come on. Thank you for joining us on our road trip to Goodwood. The Q4 e-tron, well, it performed exceptionally well. Apologies for not doing a full roundup at the end, because literally 
we were too tired. If you'd like to know more about the vehicle, please watch our full review. And thank you.